Now listen, don't hate me, but day one, it wasn't good. There wasn't a whole lot of brick by brick. It was bean by bean. He was inside you, just dominating. But hey, it's a different day. It is a rematch now. Can Opta get it done? Can they make this run on Championship Sunday here in front of the home crowd? But let's get it going. Let's meet our teams first and foremost, the villains, Boston Breach. Vivid, Beats, Awakening, and Nero. Listen, Beans absolutely from Baby, bring them out. And now you've all been waiting for the team trying to make the run. Optic Texas. Ghosty, Shotzi, Dashi, and who? Dashi and Shotzi have been in this position before in front of. Enough to hold on to it. You can see the rest of Boston now looking to try and wrap this P2. They're gonna have one wrapper up the back and then imagine they'll let start to try and contest in the middle of the map. Kill start to fall away, it's a two for two so far. Shotzi trying to stay alive, but good spawns here still for Optic when you consider P3. They're in a good spot, 44 points to their name. Dashi finds two and a third. Bruce Lightning up the main stage to King. Oh my goodness me! Full 60 here will do them justice. But they still have to hold off the green wall. Beans desperately trying to get out of it. Dashi will take him down. They are forced to back up. Nero looking for him as Dashi doesn't miss. 14 and 7 from Bruce so far. The crowd showing their appreciation in every given moment. Ghosty with a second as well. This is getting a little bit out of hand as Vivid will find two to maybe slow things. Sometimes they can just come out and fry you. And that's exactly what's happening to Boston right now. Every single time Boston hit up against either Ghosty or Dashi, they fall like we let's find out though how the green wall is feeling this is a listen in to big texas i'm playing a nerd leave it out of his socks nothing there for boston as they now have to run and they have to fight for scrap time, it's getting out of control. And that's the problem, you got the P3 spawns of your Boston, but this 25 seconds over towards the side of Optic is disastrous. Kill starting to flow through now for Shotzi. Does he fight oh! Beats as well? Makes a weak, comes back for him after dealing with Awakening 2. Rotation starting to come through, Vivid the only one, the only bastion for this side of Boston Breach left in this point. Something ridiculous here if they want to try and find the win, but it's looking like all Optic, the kill feed, lighting up green, but not the green of Boston. Optic Texas are so deep entrenched. Boston are so far away, and Optic need 10 points for the win. 10 seconds to destiny. You can run from it, you can hide from it, but it still arrives. The green wall continues to put the herd onto Boston. And now it's done. Dustin, Championship Sunday, welcome to the 100 point club. They know he's here. On the other side of it, Shotzi, first one against Nero, gets away with his life. Eight health and first blood to Optic. They have the momentum. 63% of the time they are finding these first bloods and they are converting them 90% of the time. It's a wonderful, wonderful rate. If you're an Optic fan, Hook will find Awakening as well. The 2v4 scenario now for the side of Boston. Breach are surely unattainable. That bomb now goes down over towards A, it is the bait. Coming out for Arctic. And now Boston Bridge have got a lot of work to do. They have to check so many corners, so many positions. They do not have any information on this side of the map. All they know is there are three Optic players looking for them and Ghosty already finds Vivid Beans alone in a one versus three. And down he falls. Only one kill on the side of Boston, on the side of Optic. Who cannot able to find anything with that 3v4 for the side of Optic. Time very much running out. Here we go. They got to move, they got to find it, but unfortunately they lose another player. Dashi and Huke. We've seen magic before. Can we see magic again as Huke falls? It's only going to be Dashi left. But there is no time to get this bomb to a bomb site. So he's looking wow. for kills and down he goes. Interesting strategy there from Optic. We've seen it before. You play patient, you wait for a pick. But when you run out of time, you run out of options. And Boston just didn't give them an inch. You sit in that scenario, you're waiting for a mistake to happen. Boston just hold tight. Well played from them. Not being lured into anything. 
Didn't work out for Optic Texas, and typically where Optic V2 in their scenario retakes have been on their side, but time is not quite. 20 seconds to go, they gotta move. Nero is sweating. He's sweating, he knows his player's looking for him here already. He's trying to get it awakening, trying to get in position as well. Ghosty will take down Nero. It's the gig awake for the one versus three. He has to check the time, and he's done just enough. He'll find two, surely. He has to go for the diffusion, it's actually on him. Oh! Oh! Awakening finds him with a grenade just in time. And Optic are not beaten by the players, they are beaten by the clock. Optic have taken complete control away, and that bomb is on the cusp of going down as well, and down it goes. They get out scot free. Three versus four, this is better for Optic. It is a nightmare to retake this bomb site with this many players up. There are too many corners, there are too many shoulders to be thrown. Beans is gonna find the forehead of Dashi, but 27 seconds remain. It is not a lot of time. That's a big win from Ghosty, 3v3. It was potentially doable, but now Beans in Awakening. Very little to be done here as soon as Optic Texas find that first blood. Force Beans away. This one was done. Back into the game. Side to play happening so far. Curious if we'll see it again. Boston already doing better than the majority of teams, or the two teams who have come up against Optic Texas on this map. Shotzi getting aggressive already. Beans will find one, but Shotzi looks to punish. Nero turns round at the wrong time. Can he find the second under Beans as well? The dagger through the heart of Boston is Shotzi. The tip of the spear of Optic flew true and fast in that scenario. Two kills for him, 3v2 now. For Boston to try and come back from. Perfect from Shotzi to kick off the round. They just weren't expecting this man to come up with full force. And there's a third for Shotzi. Only Vivid for the ace and he's looking. He's trying to find it, but Vivid will take him down. Trying to make his own one versus three. His death silence has popped as well. I think seen. he's going to see just the tiniest hint of a player there as well, but he's been spotted in return. Going to go for the wide chow, looking for Q, guns him at the same time, trying to stay alive. Vivid looking every single direction he can as it comes down to a 1v1! And Vivid makes the one versus... And now a difficult situation for Optic. Hook puts the issue onto Beans though, the aggression comes through. Is Vivid able to answer? Is Hook going to go for it? He's going to go for it and Vivid will deal with him again. I don't think his health was fully back at that point. Q May have to go on one step too fast. Bomb left out here. Dashi though, we've seen him perform magic before. Dead silence in hand. It's like superpowers every time it gets popped. And maybe, and maybe, and he is gonna get the first there. Back down to a two versus two. Boston have trying to play the clock maybe. Oh, then it's gonna show himself and back on down quickly. Dead silence still there, awakening. Falls into the clutches of Dashi again. And now Vivid on a four spree. Needs to do it all over again. Here for the side of Boston Breach as this bomb will go. Where he is very much not. I think it's time to plant that. Have it just in time. Through. Big kick kill coming in from Awakening. Who can now try to search for something in the mid map as well. But a four versus three for the side of Boston. They've got players in prime position. This should be five to three, but who will find one? Costi will find another 3v2. And they're going. The time is ticking. And Optic are looking to get into position right now. They have to. Awakening oh. is going to hold off too, though. And only Ghosty going to remain. It's a one versus one. He has to fly towards Awakening. He knows the time is against him. And Awakening discretion is the better part of Valor because he cannot defuse while he's alive. And while he wins the gunfight, he does not get to defuse by three to Boston. Sniper Awakening on the cross in the corridor. But Optic with a bold play call in this round. They heard the stun, so the information is there. And oh. awake. <laughs> Awakening. Get out. Sea of green. I mean, this is a big stack from Optic. They have to make sure that this is tight. If you are Boston Breach, you're trying to pick in from the outside. Fish in a barrel springs to mind. But can you find that first fish? As Shotzi now waiting, ready and waiting for the side of Boston to start to make their move. 30 seconds to go, first kill to Nero. Is it all gonna fall apart as oh Boston find a way through? Vivid with one, and it's now a 2v4. Nero with another hook left alone. Trying to find everything here, and he kicks it in, and he's not gonna find it. Boston surrounds, and they take down Optic. The stack was too big, they couldn't continue. Optic found a way into A, Shotzi now put the pressure on towards the spawn. This is dangerous now for Boston, but if you're Optic, you need to push down the right hand side of the map, force Boston to spawn where they're spawning now, they can get rid of Beans. This is looking good. Shotzi staying alive, looking for them coming off the respawn as well. He's been stunned, he's been naded, he's still alive, he's still running away, they're getting on the point, the first tick is in. Shotzi playing this like a man meant to, born to play Call of Duty, is that second
Antic rocket through. Another kill for Shotzi. A five streak, an almost six streak for Shotzi. And he will get it. He'll get the cruise. They'll get the point. And Optic draw first blood in the control. Vivid should be able to clean this one up though as they try to get the pressure back on the way. Get this clock stop. Get those Big kicks help. in. But Optic have the upper hand. Right now, Boston are back in spawn. Optic yet to win a control here at the Major. Sitting at 0 and 4, 2 and 7 in rounds. It has been their least favorite mode, but right now they're looking to go 2 to 0 of 20 seconds now for Boston to find a break. Who gets the bar? We'll find one into Nero. Now he's potentially going to be on the fly for an A push that is inevitably coming on through. Shotzi from the front. Can he find another? It's upset from Shotzi. Vivid sent to the Shadow Realm, but beams in Nero are here to still keep this pressure. He is taking bullets from everywhere. They are looking to shut it down as Hugh finds it. Optic are on the point. That first kick is ricocheting through. Like a freight train, they fear the despair. And maybe, just maybe, Boston hold for a second on the back of Nero wow. the hero. Wow, Nero in the middle of the map. It just went absolutely massive for Boston. And because Optic found those kills in a staggered sort of manner, Boston were able to get there in good numbers. Big kill. You expect much better numbers out of him, but just cannot deal with the pressure that Optic are putting on him. Vivid and Nero, though, finding a couple of kills. Good start here for Boston in round number four. Vivid trying to get position to see if he can take any of these reinforcements down, but there are players from Optic moving into a better position as the seconds tick by. They're looking for it. Shotzi will get gunned. Vivid trying to stay alive. He's got Ghosty looking for him as well. Nero putting the pressure on, and while Vivid's on five, Boston haven't really got what they would want from this. And Shotzi runs into him again. The cruise missile, this time in his pocket. Yeah, Vivid just playing his life yet, playing the kills. Get a hold of that cruise missile and also just fit up the reinforcements. Look how many members of Optic are actually having a concert. Oh, and they're just playing for life control. But the important fact here for the side of Boston, they get rid of Ghosty behind them and he can't do much about it now. Boston just have every single direction covered but in front of them, which is where Optic Texas are now going to start coming from. They are trying to stay alive on the point. He's been absolutely frying. Force free for him. Pressure still in. Boston one took away from tying up the control. Nero in the point, who can answer back with one, can't find any more. Optic are so staggered, and Boston are surely sending us to round number five. Dashi gets traded. That tick is rocketing in, Shotzi tries to oh. get a hero, and he fights too. That shouldn't have happened, they had it, but Boston let it go. A minute left, and But it doesn't always come down to that. A lot of map control was lost, but Nero's confidence has not wavered. Over towards this attacking side, he's just been killing everything he sees. More pressure in here now for Optic to deal with. Dashi will be the only one to find one. Hook with another from the railings. And they just keep clutching with Awakening. Finds the final time, kill. You've got to go up here. Dashi, can you get in? No, you cannot. It's a round number five that we see. And oh my goodness. And this is the problem. You've got to dig Hugh out. You've got to find Shotzi every time they keep flanking. They are putting Boston back. 18 seconds left to go. Optic have done a marvellous job so far, they just have to hold. And Huke on the flank once again, he should be able to find maybe one and feeds into life somehow! Dash on the other side, Huke has to back off, he's waiting for this cruise missile. The second tick is in at A. Progress here for Boston, but it's do or die in this control. They've been holding it down. Shotzi to the rescue though, is it? He finds two on the point, can he find another? Dashi with one. There's Beans on his back. Beans is gonna get in the point, he's gonna slow it down, he needs the rest of his team to be here for him. Oh, and Dashi beams the first. Dashi does not beam the second though, Beans will get him. And they're trying to get in, Hugh does not want to let this one go, he flies in and finds the kill! He doesn't find a second one, awakening with two of his own, Shotzi gets one back, and they're not here! Boston are not on the point, they cannot show it down! Optic win the control! They Bad news for Boston. Straight from the rim, Dashi with two now, over towards the dark side, just trying to lock down the lanes as best he can. Boston Rich is nowhere near it. And they're having to get through Bruce, which is just such a hard task. Make it three, five in a row for Dashi to kick off the game. He's doing it again. Dashi, the man who will not be moved, the man who doesn't miss. A streak off the grenade, but Optic Texas again. Locking it down. They just haven't gotten it anywhere near this. Your boss in the first 30 seconds. They're all find one on the shot seat. Try and get something going. We'll find a second on the dashi. He's done so well to find all of these. My goodness, Nero. 
breaks it up and all on his own. He was the guy to try and bring the back into the control. Make it fall. Nero. Going lights out over towards P2, but P3 is what we're talking about now. That Off to get here in more numbers than Boston. They now have control of 10. Nero just trying to play his life a little bit now. Five spree for him. Vivid will get dealt with this Ghosty and Co. We'll find this break. Seamlessly. Shotzi shuts down Nero before that streak can continue. Beans, though, doesn't catch the grenade, will catch the kill. Ghosty will take him down. It's a brilliant hold unless Vivid can do something about it. Shotzi shuts him down. P3 time, Optic Texas rotation. Stop! Boston from getting in the point. It's all going wrong. It's not going right. Unless you're an Optic Texas fan. Nero and Vivid combining. Well, Vivid finds a second, but is that going to be enough? Now it's going to be Beans left all alone. It feels like every single second is so important for Boston now. They need to steady this ship immediately. But the kill's still flowing through. Make it three. Number four, here it comes. Shotzi shuts him down. These breaks have just been so well orchestrated if you are them you must must get a full decent hold yet cantina control looking good vivid will find one vivid will find two four spree for him at this moment in time as hook will find a breakthrough and he find the second is awakening holding on tight four and 13 has not had a good series awakening and well they need to be large inside they talk about big weight but it's a big mistake at the moment and there's nothing they can find. It is another break for Optic. And another game, it's been the SMGs. It has really been quite one-sided. We are about to enter our next set of rotations. Optic in a commanding position within lethal range on any one hill. And Boston Breach, they need a miracle. They need prayers, they need sacrifices. Because if they don't find something now, this game is over. Beans trying to find something over towards the tunnel side. Good kills coming in here for the side of Boston. Hook with the big one though. To lock down P2. 20 and 14 out of him. As Cantina will be on the line very, very shortly as Vivid and Beans finding the kills in the middle of the map. Hook's still here on his own. There's three. Dashi still gonna be fighting for it. 21 and nine. Oh. Eventually will be taken down. There's a lot of kill feed here for Boston. Oh, that's a big kill because Ghosty slips the net. It causes problems in the rank of Boston. 15 seconds to go here. Good time over towards P1. You've got Optic spawning way, way out as well. It's a nice setup from Boston, but we've seen a couple of them already. A couple of kills coming in for Optic, but can Boston hold on to this? They're spawning out. They're dying at the wrong time. Vivid's alone, and he's going to get gunned. Dashi has not been missing this entire hard point. Optic, they break the P2. Pressure coming from back alley from Boston. They have to go, they cannot afford to lose these trades. They don't have to do much. Nero finds one as well, they get themselves back into Cantina. It was almost disaster. Staying alive is Nero now. Just about the 220 point mark if you're Optic Texas. It's a confident lead, but one that could get nervy if Boston can find well anything, but this kill feed looking green on the left. Shotzi, Hoop, Dashi combining together. They can just about win it here if you're Optic Texas. 20 seconds to go. Boston has stopped that tie for just a little bit, but Hook will find five. They'll need to see the next hill, but they may well be heading there with only needing five or so points. Boston have not held ten any time they've tried. And Optic are close. So close they can taste it. Through the front door, it's going to be Shotzi awakening near a hold on tight though. Dashi's the only one who can find anything. Good hold from Boston so far. Duke finding one, looking for the second, will eventually fall. Just a breather here for Boston, but Shotzi's not slowing down. He's going straight for it, looking for Nero. Guns him, looks for the second. Snake's gonna fall eventually, but Dash is gonna be here as well. Ghosty, 